Let's go into badges in Edmodo. Badges are a great way to motivate your students. For whatever reason, kids love earning badges, and so do adults. There's a few different ways of awarding badges. I'm going to show you one way first. You can be in your group and click on members and pick on the member that you want to award a badge to. When you click on the member's name, and this is in the new version, it'll say award badge right over here. So you can click on award badge and here's my one student badges, diligent, that's what I have. So I could click on that and award it. But what if I want to make a new badge? I can click on new badge and title the badge. So maybe I'm going to call it great reader. You do need a description. This is for being a great reader. I know that's not the most exciting, but there we go. You, if you're going to do new badge, you need to have an image saved somewhere to upload. So you need to go out and find the image in the first place. And the image says it's 114 pixels by 114 pixels. So depending on the size of your image, part of it might be cut off, but you can play around with it and see. So I can click on upload and I found a picture that I called books that I saved and I can click on it and then open it up and there's what it's going to look like, which is good enough for me. And I like to share my badge with other teachers because the best way to get badges is actually to find someone who's a good badge creator and then take their badges from them and then you don't have to reinvent the wheel. And then you can click create badge. So now I have these two badges created. So if I want to give this one to Mark, I click on great reader and it says award badge. I also could edit the badge if I wanted to from down there with the little pencil icon or once again I can click on it and do award the badge. And see now Mark, if I click on his profile, you can see what badges he's collected. He's collected three badges, great reader, hard worker, good citizen. So there's one way to award badges. Another way to award badges is through the student profile. So if you're not sure how to get to the student profile, if you go to your members of your group and click on the student, over here it says profile. If I click on profile, here's award badge. So like I said, you could go into the group and click on award badge through there, or you could be in the student profile and click on award badge. It works the same way. My student badges, new badge. I could also go to Edmodo and there are these badges that they already have pre-created. So if I want to say there's the student of the month, I can award the badge. And now my student has four badges. So that's the second way. Student profile award badge. Or like we said, in members, when you click on it, you can go to award badge. Or profile and award badge. Now, with the new version of Edmodo, there's another way to award badges, but first I want to show you how you can get badges from other teachers. So, you can go searching for a teacher, and I know this teacher has a ton of badges. So, you just need to go to the teacher profile or check teacher's profiles, and right here, shared student badges. This teacher has 45 shared student badges, so I can open them up and I can see all of these badges that she's already created. And I can take a piece, ooh, great teamwork. That sounds great. All I have to do is click on it and add to my student badges. Great thinker, click on it. Great ideas, great work, add to my student badges. And once it's added, it'll say added right there. Responsibility, add to my student badges. Maybe I like, okay, uh, on fire, add to my student badges. So you don't have to make your own, you can if you want, but you may find, look, Brainiac Award, add to my student badges. So once again, you can find a teacher and you can go on any teacher that you're connected with and see if they have shared student badges. And like I said, then just click on them, pick the one you want and add to my student badges. I'm going to show you the other place where you can actually add badges, which is new to the new version of Edmodo. 
It's under Progress, which is the new name for Grades or Gradebook. If I click on Progress and I find my class that I want to work with. Here it shows me my student who's in this class. Then I can click on Badges. And right now, there's the only one that was added was the diligent one that I had in my student badges. I could do add badge to this group and it's going to show me here's all these badges that I had taken from the other group teacher and here's the one that I created. So if I wanted to, I literally could click on any one of these and see how when I'm clicking, it's adding them to the gradebook. So here's another way you can load up your gradebook with badges that you want and it kind of makes it easier to actually award the badges because all you have to do then is come into the gradebook, here's grades, here's badges and then just click on the student that you want to receive which badge. Easy. So you no longer have to go into the members part of your group or in the student profile. You just load up your gradebook with the badges add badge to the group. They have to be a part of your badges. So you need to create the badges first or copy and add badges from other teachers, load them up, and then you can just add them in. And then if I go back to home and I look at members and I look at Mark, it says right here he's got seven badges. So an easier way. Badges through the gradebook in the new version of Edmodo.